Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to display the ads, Google ads from the AdSense account in your Android app to make some cool money. So we'll, I'll show the complete steps in Android Studio environment. So let's begin. I'll create a new project. Any project doesn't matter, empty project. And name of this project I can give it is um, Google Ads App. And click finish. Wait for my environment to load up. In the meantime, I'll show you most of the steps. I'll take it from this particular portal. Uh, this is Google's uh, developers portal. I'll post a link in my description below so you can follow it. It's very simple. It's very easy. You have to just follow a few steps. Just we have to make sure that uh, these prerequisites are uh, fulfilled, which most of the cases will be fulfilled because Android Studio environment of 3.2 or higher is required and minimum SDK of 16 is required. I think most of the most of us are these days doing at a much higher level, so it doesn't matter. How to set up and create your AdMob account? I have already created a separate page for that. I'll post a link also for that separately, but you can also explore these steps, how to sign it up and how to register your uh, app for and create the ad unit. And then from here onwards, we'll start in our Android Studio environment. Few things to note, this apps, although I will show you a test environment right now, but in reality, it will work only if your app is hosted on Play Store. I have also a video on that. Uh, I will suggest to explore that in my channel. So let's go back to the Android Studio environment. Perfect. So our app is loaded up. I am also starting the emulator in parallel because it takes a while many times. And I will keep toggling between these two pages. So please bear with me. So as the configuration steps, the first step it says is in your project level uh, build dot gradle file I have to include this so I'll just copy this and then I'll go back to my app in the gradle environment it says in the project level so this is the first one which is project level and over here it asks me to add those lines so I think these are the lines which I have to add no I think I missed it so I'll go back here so the moment you add this it will give you uh, notification to sync now, but I think the build description will go above plugins. The first one should be build description as, as I know. So we'll put it over here and I will just start the sync now. I expect some error and I'll tell you why because I think, yeah, that was expected because uh, uh, this two repositories, what we are adding over here, that is already added in a settings.gradle file. If I go there quickly. And I can see that those are already added, so I don't think we need to do it again. So I'll go back here and probably I'll remove this line. So I'll just comment out for the time being. Don't try again. Let's see if it works or not this time. So it's doing something. In the meantime, okay, so build is successful. Perfect. Now I'll go back to my portal and see what is the next step. So next step says is to add a dependency in our app level Gradle file. Okay. So I'll just copy this line also. Go back to my uh, environment and over here, I think I'll scroll down and over here I'll paste that line. So, no, 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 I don't think I have to add dependency again. So, I can just remove this and that should be fine. Again, you have to click sync now to sync the libraries what I have added. To check the alignment, I'll just press Ctrl Alt I, which will make sure the alignment is correct. And that's all is what I guess. Build is successful, perfect. So as long as there is no sync now, I think uh, our syncing or the implementation is correct. I'll switch back to the portal and see what's the next step. So as next steps it says is that we have to add our add mob mobile app ID in our manifest file, Android manifest.xml file. So I think we have to add this metadata. So I'll just copy paste this line. I can copy paste again the whole uh, things, but I am pretty sure it will give error because I don't need manifest and application tags. I go back to my app environment and here somewhere inside this applications tab is what I guess we have to put it because if you notice this metadata is placed between the applications tab here. So applications tab ends here so I think I can add just before this ending over here somewhere and yeah good. But I think this is not a valid uh, publication ID, of course. So here you have to give your actual ID in your uh, production app. But for a test, I think uh, over here somewhere we'll get the test uh, 
probably uh, add id as well so let's scroll down and see so okay so now it's asking us to implement in our java or kotlin i follow java so i will use the java part but in case you are following kotlin please go and do the kotlin so to initialize the google mobile ads hdk we have to initialize it so i'll just copy paste this line also over here and go back uh, i'll come back to this again uh, i'll keep it a note mental note and over here in this own create method i will just implement this mobile ads so it's asking me to initialize all this or import all this uh, classes i'll just click alt enter which it will do it the android studio environment will do on my behalf perfect so i think more or less our environment is ready now we have to select an add format here so that different kinds of add formats it gives i'll just select the banner add type so just I'll opening it a new window. You can explore the other uh, types as well, but banner ads is simple. And also I'd like to quickly show you that I have already created a banner ad uh, in my for my app. And uh, oh, okay, I don't know why that logo came up of my environment of my channel. Anyway, no problem. So what I was showing was I have already created a banner app type. The steps is given in a separate page and the link for that is in my description for this just two minutes it takes so please follow those steps and create this ad unit you can create multiple ad units so this is one i have created i have given my publication id uh, ad id so please for use your own app id over here but for this app we'll use a test uh, id which provided which is provided by the google ad mob environment so i think this is the one which i was talking of we'll use this id so yeah so as the next steps to create our banner app, we have to use this in our layout uh, to include the app, include the ad in our layout. So I've just copied this part of the code and I'll go back to my environment. And over here, I'll go to my layout. The default layout has the text view, which I think I'll leave it as it is. And I think I'll go to the code view and over here, most likely I'll add this banner somewhere below it i don't think i need this first few lines and yeah there is some error i think if i over over it it says the view is not constant okay we'll do it uh, eventually i think i'll do one thing i will i'll just add one part and i'll go back to the design view and here if i come here i see it's added somewhere in the top it's not constant so i can put it anywhere in the layout probably i'll put it somewhere on the top let me put it over here somewhere and then let me give it some kind of constraints perfect so the moment you give constraints the errors will be gone and things will look good so and our ad will add should be displayed on the top okay now going back to the code view if you notice it already has the okay, i'm not sure why this was added separately we can just close it like this it doesn't uh, require a separate tag to close it uh, nevertheless this is the add unit id what we are using right now in this particular um, environment so we'll do one thing we'll use this same to update our manifest file so if you remember in the initial part we just left it as x66 and yyy so i'm copying pasting the test app id add id which the google provides perfect i'm going back here so this is what we have used now in the java code it's, it also gives an alternative approach to implement the ads from the java which we'll ignore for the time being always test with test ads yeah this is the one what i was talking of so we have anyway used this one so if i go back quickly i think this is the one what we are using yeah I toggle twice and thrice it looks the same we can of course i can al always do a control c control f control v which is same of course and then over here control c control f control v yeah which is same anyway i'll move ahead and now the second part is how to load and add so i think this part we have already added in our in our uh, own create method so we have to just add the other part which is this part basically and uh, yeah, make sure that this part is added the first few lines. If not, then you should add it and go back to your Java code. And over here, just below this, I will add this. Again, ask us, 
asking me to include some class import the libraries which I will do and this m add uh, view the variable is not defined yet so this is I think because this line of the code is not copied I will copy it here so most of the stuff I am copying as you can see it's pretty easy and I will do control a control alt i yeah so let to align everything perfect so if you notice uh, I have not written, written even a single line of the code and everything is falling into place as perfect as required. I'll go back here and see what's the next it says. It says I can add some add events like when add loaded or fail blah blah. I will skip this part and so it gives lots of other functionalities. I think I'll skip it. I'll keep it just till here and let's see if I try to simulate it again or run it in my in my emulator let's see how it comes up i'm expecting this should work because our ad is put in the layout in the manifest file i have defined the uh, particulars about the ads let's see how it comes up in our emulator so my code is running i'm in building so in the meantime i'll just clean up my code a little bit so my app has loaded and what I can see is wow perfect so there is some ad which I can see on the screen over here nice job and blah blah of course this is a test ad so it will as you can see it also displays a test ad over here and it's not an actual ad yeah so that's all I just wanted to show you how easy it is you just need this ad id ad unit id which you will get from your ad mobile uh, ad mob uh, uh, dash, uh, dashboard the steps I'm repeating is in the uh, link in my description below please follow it it takes maximum five minutes and once you have done that once you have got this you just come to your Android restaurant environment build this app include all these required um, things in the Gradle file and put it in the manifest file and then include the add unit here put the right constraints that's it you are good to go so that's all I hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye